La 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 la. Can I play with one of your toys too? No. Why not? Because you're not my real sister. Yes, we are. Sasha said she said that we are. You're literally just proving my point. You call her Sasha, not mom. When I get a real baby sister, that's when I'll share my toys. Thank you for saving us from that evil girl. Yeah, she was so mean to us. Don't worry, guys. I promise I won't let her touch you again. Hey, Sasha. So I was wondering, since it's almost Halloween, do you think I could get some money for a costume? If you want one, Jane, buy it yourself. But you bought one for Anna. Yes, but that's that's different. Whatever. My mom said that when she was a baby, they found her on the side of the highway. <gasps> no way. Her real parents just ditched her like that? It's no wonder that she has so many issues. Right? That makes so much more sense now. <laughs> okay, girlies, let's go do our Halloween makeup, and then we'll get into our costumes. Yay! Look at this new makeup palette I got. Wait a minute. Are those my stuffed animals from when I was little? No. Uh-huh. And where did you get the money to buy that costume? I found some money on the street. You little thief! Give me that hey. bucket! Oh my gosh, is this your little stash of all my stuff? Mom, come here and look at this. <gasps> you don't even use any of that. It doesn't matter. I will not allow a thief to live in my home. So what? You're gonna kick me out? As a matter of fact, I will. Whatever, I don't need you guys anyways. I know you only adopted me, so you could look good in front of your rich friends. Oh, how dare you. Here, this is all the money I'm giving you. Good luck living on the streets. You know, I'm pretty sure this is illegal. No, dear, you're 18 now. This will be good for you, Jane. It was nice knowing you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun being broken homeless. <laughs> you know what? The heck with them. But I promised you guys I would not leave you with her. I promise I won't let her touch you again. Excuse me, miss. Do you have any spare money? I'm so hungry. How about this, hun? I'll give you $20 for those two stuffed animals. You know what? Deal. Uh-oh, I only have pocket change. But you said you would give me 20 This isn't worth it. Sorry, honey. I gotta go. Give me back my stuffed animal. Bye. See ya. Hey! Wait a minute. She dropped her credit card. I hope she doesn't mind me going on a little shopping spree. Ow! Oh, goodness, I am so sorry. Yeah, yeah. Not. Excuse me, miss. Is your name Jane? No. Freeze! Jane 5, cop 0. Excuse me, miss. I'm homeless, and I was wondering if you have any money. What do you say you come work for me? Okay. Pretending to be your daughter was the perfect distraction. I told you, they never suspect a mother-daughter duo. And this is nothing, kid. If you stick with me, I got a lot more tricks where this came from. Hey, you two. They must know we stole. Stay calm, kid. I got this. Excuse me, officer. There's just been a misunderstanding. I- Officer, help! She's trying to kidnap me! What? I thought we were a team. Hands on your head. I'm sorry. I can't go to jail. I'm sorry. I can't go to jail. This isn't over, kid. Come on, let's go. Okay, you get one phone call. Hurry up. Come on, pick up. Pick up, damn it. Hello? Hey, Kate, it's me. Who? It, it's Jane. Remember I helped you steal... I mean, I helped you borrow that car one time. Oh, yes, Jane, I remember yeah, you. Yeah, listen, I am in a bit of a jam. I am currently in jail, and I'm gonna need you to bail me out. What? Wait, wait. how did that happen? It's a long story. I don't want to talk about it, but uh, let's just say I'm never having kids. <laughs> you always did have a soft spot, didn't you? Okay, are you gonna help me or not? Depends. Is there going to be revenge? Um, it's me. Duh. Then I'm in. See you soon, Jane. Next. What do we got here? Jane Danvers. Okay, here's your stuff. Get out. I can't believe she took your car, too. Yeah, I know. That little brat was a con artist herself. But she's gonna wish she didn't mess with me. You remember the plan? Sure do. Let's do this. Oh, hey! Oh, pardon me. I'm such a klutz. Hey. <gasps> Jane, how did you get out of prison? I, uh, I got bailed out, no thanks to you. About how I took your car and turned you in, You I... were just trying to save yourself. Exactly. So, you're not mad, right? Nah, come here. Give me a hug. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, ma'am, I just saw that girl take your wallet. What? No, I didn't. Yeah, she did. It's right there in her back pocket. Hey! I didn't take her stupid wallet. She did this! Oh my gosh, please don't hurt me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Someone call the police. You're coming with us. Get off of me. I'm telling you it was her. Later, traitor. Why, you little bit! You sure showed her, Jane. Never tried out, Conacon -con woman. Precisely. Darling, please let us see your mark. Oh, she has a diamond. Honey, we're billionaires. If she didn't, someone would be losing their head. Dad, 
It's just an expression, dear. Now I will show you this chart, and your father will explain. This is our money status. The diamond gem means, you know, we're rich. The middle class is red gem. You could talk to them, but really, don't make friends with them. And the green gem is poor. Don't you ever talk to these people. They're a big no from me. I can't wait for you to show all your friends how rich you are when you go to your New Year's Eve party tonight. Nobody needs to know how rich I am. Guys, please, I was just gonna grab a couple appetizers and then I'll be out of here. Sorry, did you not read the sign? No green marks allowed to my party. That was brutal. Excuse me. I'll get us food, Mom. I'm gonna paint my mark red so I can sneak back into the party. Mom, let me call you back. Hey, you, freeze. Whoa, whoa, listen, I'm not gonna tell on you. Yeah, right. You know what? Your mark looks fake, too. Here, wipe it off. Let's see if you're the real deal. Do it. Okay, okay. What the? You're a diamond mark? I want to help you. You, you do? Why would you want to help me? I literally held a gun to you. Well, first of all, I can tell that's a Nerf gun spray painted black. Ugh, dang it. Wait, how did you know that? It says Nerf or nothing on the side. Also, I overheard you talking to your mom about you needing food. Is that true? Yeah, that's the whole reason I came to this party. We kind of ran out of food yesterday. I'm so sorry. No one deserves to go hungry, especially not on New Year's Eve. Come with me. I'm going to take you to my house. We're going to your place? Yes, we have tons of food and... Oh, but your mark... Huh? Okay, I originally brought this as body shimmer for the New Year's Eve party, but we're gonna use it to make your mark look like my mark. Uh-huh. Just stay still for me. Why? Why are we doing this exactly? Well, technically, I'm not allowed to talk to green marks. Seriously? Wow. Hey, it's my parents' rule, not mine. The mark actually looks pretty real. Come on, let's go. Okay. Thanks for the food. Oh, it's no trouble, really. And since you said you needed money for you and your mom, I'm gonna give you one of my Christmas presents that I'm really not gonna use. It's a brand new MacBook Pro. I already have like three of them. Thanks, but I don't have a home, so I don't have Wi-Fi. I wish I could let you and your mom stay here in this mansion. Nah, it's cool. Oh. What? Your mark is kind of smearing. I can see the green. Oh, shoot. Darling! Honey, where are you? Oh, hide in my closet right now. Get in my closet. Wait, how long am I gonna have to be in here? I don't know, but they can't see you with a green mark. But I'm sorry, just shh. Oh, there you are, darling. We were looking for you. Your mom and I are leaving for a business trip for a month. You are? I mean, you are? Yeah, but before we go, let's refresh what I told you about the box, okay? Oh, no, guys, I really don't believe it. Ah! Take the chalk, and remember, what did your father tell you? Now, do red marks make good friends? No, that's right. And what did I say about green marks? Don't talk or make friends with them. You know these rules are ridiculous, right? I mean, did you guys ever think that maybe we should help others that are less fortunate? I mean, maybe every once in a while we could help the green marks out with some food or maybe even some shelter. Don't be ridiculous. Do you understand how hard we work to get where we are today? We're not gonna waste it on those green marks. Okay. Sometimes I wonder if she's truly our daughter. Hey, after that, I think it's probably best I can. No, wait. I want to help you go soon. My parents will never know. Hey, make a wish! How many years did it give you? Ten! She has to get married at seventeen? She won't even be an adult. Don't worry, my dear. We'll find her a good prince to marry. Besides, she doesn't seem like she's gonna be the picky type. <laughs> Your seventeenth birthday is in one week, and you still have not chosen a prince to marry. That's because princes are stuck up, and all they care about is money and power. Maria, that's not true. Not all princes are like that. Well, Mother said that when I find the right guy, my days left will turn from red to green. That is a myth, princess. And you are running out of time. But luckily, I'm available. I think I'd rather die, Jay. You will if you don't choose someone. I am not going to let that happen. If you don't pick someone in the next few days to marry, I will have no choice but to have you married to Jay. What? No. My word is final, Maria. Princess Maria, there's someone here to see you. Excuse me, Princess. My name is Prince Adam. Well, hello, Prince Adam. Oh my gosh, he's so hot. Could the prince and I please get some privacy? Oh, yes, of course. Sorry about that. No worries, princess. So, I'm guessing my father sent you up here? Well, you seem like a very nice guy. And I would like to get to know you, but... I just wish that I wasn't being forced to marry someone right now. I completely understand. That is why I want to help you. Help me? Yes. Have you heard of the legend of the Wishing Rock? Yes, my mother used to tell me stories of it all the time. I want to find it for you, so you may wish to be married whenever you please. You... 
You would do that, of course. This system isn't fair, and I want to make you happy. I will be back with your wishing rock in three days' time. Thank you. You... you don't know how much this means to me. Princess, I'm back. Unfortunately, I could not find the rock. I think we should get married instead. But what about the system not being fair? You said you were gonna help me. You're not Prince Adam, are you? Of course it is me, princess. Who else would it be? I'm telling you, father, that isn't him. No, you're just saying that because you don't want to get married. You didn't want to marry Jay, so I found you this nice prince. I know, but my days left turned back to red, and remember mother said- Your mother is gone, and I will not lose you too over your stubbornness to settle on a man. You and Adam are to be married tomorrow at sunset. You can't do that. Don't insult my authority, Maria. My word is always final. Why the sad face, princess? Leave me alone, Jay. Perhaps you'd rather talk to Prince Adam. Better? How did you- I stole the wishing rock. And if you don't do exactly as I say, you will never see Prince Adam again. Too bad this rock can't make people fall in love. It also can't bring people back from the dead either. Such a shame. I really did like your mother. Where is Adam? He'll be fine as long as you cooperate. Guards! I wish for her to fall asleep until tomorrow. Now to take care of your father. Wake up, princess. Time to get ready. You look gorgeous. I've waited for this day for so long. Maria. Adam? How did you- I escaped. Hurry. We don't have much time before they notice. Jay has taken control of everyone, and he's going to execute your father. What? Don't worry. I have a plan. What is it you wanted to do before our wedding, Maria? This. Oh! Now, Adam. Oh. Make your wish. I wish that I... I wish that all princesses could be married whenever they please. Are you alright? I think so. Hey, you have infinite time now. I do? Yes, look. Oh my gosh, I do. Adam, you're amazing. Thank you, but I couldn't have done this without your help as well. Wait, what about my father? Quick, use the wishing rock. I wish my father was in this room. Maria! Oh my god, you were right about Jay. You were right about everything. I should have never yelled at you hey, like that. it's okay. Everything's all right now. I'm free. Your time is infinite. You used the wishing rock? Oh, Maria, come here. I'm so sorry for everything. So, what will you do with the rock? I'm going to lock it away, somewhere safe. This much power isn't good for anyone. I guess I should be going, princess. Oh, or, you know, you could stay if... If you like. Uh, yes, I would love that. I'm just so happy you're okay, princess. Please wish for me to pass my test. What? No, leave me alone. How do you have one wish left? Everyone used theirs up as kids. Well, I was a very smart child, and I saved mine. Hey, looking nice today. Do you want to sit next to me for lunch, or...? You know, my car broke down today. Oh, so this is why you wanted to sit with me? No, I mean, I wanted to- Save it, Grayson. You just want to use me like everyone else. Can you please wish for- Stop it. Everywhere I go, people are asking me for wishes, like I'm some sort of genie. So you know what? I wish for everyone to have three more wishes. Hey, I didn't get any more. What happened? I wish for you to stop talking. Mmm. I have unlimited wishes. Bro, she can give us anything we want. <gasps> get her! She has infinite wishes! Get her! I wish I was home. Honey, you're home early. Yeah, I actually got unlimited- Uh-huh, that's nice. Are you even listening to me? Sorry, can't hear you. I wish for her to take her AirPods off and to smash them on the floor. <gasps> Why did I just do that? Hey, it's Wish Girl. I have a name. Yeah, but no one cares. Now give us wishes. Oh, I don't think so. I wish for everyone at this school to forget that I have unlimited wishes. Wait, what was I talking to you about? Don't move. I wish. Uh-uh. Don't even think about it. Read what's on the paper. I am not reading this. Read it or things are gonna get ugly. I wish to become a genie? Great. Now come with me. Where are we? Your new home. What? How do you even know me? Someone at your school told me yesterday. Oh man, I should have wished for everyone to forget sooner. You're gonna give me wishes. Not gonna happen. Oh, yes it is. I wish to be a billionaire. You must hold hand to activate wish. Oh, okay. Come here. No way. I just got a billion dollars in my account. 
Now I wish for a horse. <laughs> nice, now I wish for a Rolex watch. Can I please take a break now? I'm tired. You're lucky I'm a nice guy. All right, you can have a little break. Come on. <sighs> you know, when I said I wanted to sit down, this wasn't what I meant. Enough complaining. Don't make me wish for you not to speak. <sighs> what am I going to do? I wish that I was free. Error. You may only grant wishes for others. Psst, Melanie. Grayson, what are you doing here? I saw that guy take you, so I followed you. Why didn't you just call the police? Oh, maybe I should have done that. Okay, I'll go call them right now. No, 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 wait. Actually, you can help me. All you have to do is just say one wish. What? A wish? Just wish for me not to be a genie anymore. But everyone used up all their- Damn it, Grayson. Just repeat after me. I wish. I wish. For Melanie to not be a genie anymore. For Melanie not to be a genie anymore. Hey, I wish for him to disappear. That's not gonna work. I wish I was free. Out of wishes. Okay, guess that's not gonna work either. <laughs> Grayson, a little help, please. What are you gonna do, kid, huh? I was thinking of doing this. Oh, that's what you get, creep. You okay? Yeah. Oh, here. The cops found these on him. Thanks. I guess those Taekwondo classes really paid off. Yeah, but can you explain what the genie stuff was all about? You know, I wish I could, but I think it's best if I don't. Mom, I can't do this anymore. I'm only 16. I, I can't handle her by myself. I have to put her up for adoption. Coming. Hi, my name is Emily. I was wondering if you wanted to buy some chocolate. Aren't you a little young to be selling stuff by yourself? Where's your mom? I, I ran away from my foster mommy. <sighs> you ran away? Oh, she's probably looking for you. Okay, here, um, come inside. All right, well, I think I better call the police. What are you looking at? That little freckle you have right there. My daughter had the same one on her face. Oh my gosh. I think you might be my kid. You're my real mommy? You know what? I shouldn't have said that out loud. I don't know that for sure, but... Please, don't make me go back to my foster mom. She's really mean. Please don't bring me back to my foster mom. Sweetheart, I... Hi, I'm looking for a little girl. She has brown hair and brown eyes, and... Please, don't let her take me. Oh my gosh, Emily. I'm sorry, she runs off a lot. Oh, does she? Well, she came to my house trying to sell me some chocolates. She, she makes me sell them. Oh boy, here we go again with the stories. I'm so sorry. But, but, Emily, do you want to time out? <gasps> no, no, please, then tell her you're sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. All right, Emily, it's time to go. Tell her. Tell her that you're my real mommy. I... Emily, we're leaving. Come visit me. My address is 2122 Maplewood. No, wait. I found her house. You know, I think she is my daughter. And I think I want her back. I am so sorry to bother you. And this is going to sound kind of crazy, but I think that Emily um, might be my daughter. And why do you think that? Well, about five years ago, I gave my daughter up for adoption, and how old is Emily? She's five. I see, and it's not just that. She also has a freckle in the same spot that my daughter had one. So you think that she's your daughter because of a freckle on her face? <sighs> well, when you put it like that, it sounds... Look, I don't have time for this. No, please wait. I, I'm just asking for a DNA test. I don't have the funds for that. Oh no, I would cover all of the expenses. And if she is your daughter, do you plan on taking her back? Well... Yes, I do. And what if she isn't? Then I guess I would have to leave her with you then. <sighs> Fine, I'll allow it. She did great, and we should have the results in 48 hours. Hi, is this Miss Monroe? I'm calling from the doctor's office regarding your DNA test. Wow, that was fast, and yes it is. So, according to our test, it looks like Emily is not your biological child. Are you... are you sure? Yes, ma'am. I'm so sorry. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. No, it's... it's okay. So what'd they say? Emily, I just want to tell you that I think that you're a great kid. And I am so sorry for getting your hopes up. What do you mean? Oh, I knew it. You're not a biological mother, are you? Are you? No, I'm not. No, please don't leave me here. You are my mommy. I know it. I hope you're happy with yourself. Hello? 
Hi, is this Miss Monroe? We're calling regarding your DNA test. Yes, it is, but you guys have already called me. No, ma'am, I think you're mistaken. We just got your results in a few hours ago. What? And it does look like Emily is your biological child. Emily, it's me. Is anyone home? This is ridiculous. Where are they? That look like Emily in the back seat. Where is she taking her? No, listen to me. You don't understand. I am telling you that she is in danger. Again, ma'am, you don't know that for sure. And we can't do anything until she's been missing for a total of 24 hours. You know, if they're not going to help me, I'm going to find her myself. Hi, excuse me. Um, have you seen a little girl that looks like this? No, I have not. I'm sorry. It's all right. It's the foster mom. But where is Emily? Hey. Ah, you scared me. Good. Now where's my daughter? Good Lord. Didn't we just establish that she's not your daughter? She is my daughter, and I think you and I both know that. You had someone send a fake phone call to me, didn't you? <laughs> you can't prove anything. Where is she? She's with a new foster family now. What? You gave her to a new family? She was too much for me to handle. I had to transfer her. Where? No, no. That is confidential information. You better tell me right now or I'll... Don't you dare threaten me. You're the one who gave her up in the first place. So if you want to be mad at anyone, why didn't you go look in the mirror? Why would she fake that phone call if she wanted to get rid of Emily anyways? Wait. Well, she came to my house trying to sell me some chocolates. She... she makes me sell them. I don't think that she gave her up. I think she wants to keep her and use her to make money. Emily, that is enough. It's time for bed. I want my real mom. She's gone. No, let go. Open up, ma'am. This is the police. The child is not on the bottom floor. Shh, guys, I heard something. Yeah. Emily, Emily? Get her to room 203. Ma'am, you cannot be in here. Please, I, I just want to know what's wrong with her. She's very dehydrated. Do you know how long she was in that closet for? No, I, I don't. This is all my fault. I should have cut to her sooner. Excuse me. Your daughter is awake now. You can come and see her. Mommy. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> What's wrong? I thought you left me. <laughs> Emily, I promise you, I am never going to leave you again, okay? No, my foster mom's going to come back. Hey, hey, it's okay. Listen, your foster mom is not coming back. I'm going to take care of you from now on. <laughs> Promise. I promise. Now, you get some rest, okay, honey? Okay. Excuse me, Miss Monroe. There's a Daniel Knight here to see you. What? Mm-hmm. He's claiming to be the father of Emily. Daniel? Hey, how is she? How did you know we were here? Are you kidding? You and her are all over the news. How is she? Let me go see her. Whoa, whoa. Hang on a second. You took off the day that she was born because you didn't realize how difficult raising a kid would be. Look, I, I was 16, okay? So was I. And you left me alone with her. You know, if you didn't leave, I probably wouldn't have given her up in the first place. Oh, so you're saying this is all my fault? No, that's not what I'm saying. I just don't think right now is a good time for you to see her. She's been through enough shock. Please, Allie. No, you don't get to do that. You don't get to just walk back in here and start being her parent again. Isn't that what you did? No, that was different. How? Face it, we're in the same boat here. We both made mistakes. You had a chance to fix yours. Now it's my turn. The doctor said she's going to be okay. She just needs to sleep. Wow, she's... She's beautiful. She definitely got her looks from you. Super base. Hey, yo, you see that nerd right there? I bet you 500 bucks you can't get her a date for the prom. 500? All right, bet, bro, you're on. Okay, but if you lose, you owe me 500. Hey, excuse me? Yeah? Please tell me you got two options today. Yeah, I did. But what's it to you? Just tell me what they are, please. I got the option to be smart or be beautiful, but I haven't picked one yet because I can't decide. Pick to be beautiful. Excuse me? Uh, I just mean you're already the smartest girl here, so I would just pick to be beautiful if I were you. <laughs> you really think that I should? Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, okay. Nothing's changed. Oh, man. Maybe the system's broken. I think it's still loading. But prom's in two days. Yeah, so? Listen, how would you like to go on a little shopping spree with me? You barely even talk to me. Why would you want to take me? I want to be your friend. Come on.
Well, my mom does say I need to make more friends. So? Fine. But just so you know, my mom has installed a chip in the back of my head so she can track me wherever I go. Okay. I'm just saying in case you're trying to kidnap me. Uh-huh. Can I see those glasses? Sure, but they're a little busted. And now they're completely busted. Why would you- Chill, chill out. I'll get you something better. But I can't see without my glasses. And that's the bell. Follow me. What does your beauty option say? I would tell you what it said, but I can't see because you broke my glasses. I told you I'm gonna buy you contacts, but first we gotta fix that unibrow. I'm gonna pluck a few hairs, okay? No way. Come on, I'm just trying to help you out. I'm gonna make your eyebrows look snatched. It won't hurt too bad, right? Nah, we're just plucking a few little hairs. Ow! Okay, that was a big one. Please tell me you're done. I'm done, and it's looking good. Yikes, I can do eyebrows, but not hair. Time for a professional makeover. A makeover? Yeah, you know, like in those teen movies. It'll be fun. I don't know. Don't be a negative Nancy. Come on, we're going to the mall. I won't even be able to see where I'm going. Just hold my hand and I'll guide you around. Hey, it's okay. You can trust me. I'll buy you contacts once we get there. Let's go. Those should be your prescription. Can you see? Yeah. Perfect. Now try these on. Remind me again why we're doing this. Uh, I'm just trying to be a good friend to you. That's all. Okay, that top is the one. Now we just gotta get you some hair and makeup to go with it. I will be your hair and makeup artist. Come with me. Are you ready to see her? Yes, ma'am. Let him see, honey. Holy shit. She looks, uh, beautiful. Now you have my number. Call me for prom. Bye. How do you feel? I feel... different. Hopefully it's a good different, because next we gotta get you a date to the prom. Why don't I just go with you? Oh, actually, I was planning on asking this other girl, so, uh... Right, of course. But hey, listen, you deserve better than me. You know how to flirt, right? Well, sure I do. Okay, let's go over a few things then. First off, guys kind of like it when girls, you know, play with their hair. Like this? Oh boy, we got some work to do. Okay, let's try a subtle lip bite. Uh, no, don't do that. Try again. You know what, never mind. Okay, pretend to ask me to prom. Go to prom with me. Ow. Okay, let's try asking and not grabbing so hard. Sorry. Hey, will you go to the prom with me? All right, that was perfect. If you stare at a guy like that with your eyes, he'll be <clears throat> mesmerized, yeah. I should probably get back home. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> hey, Jake, guess what? I got someone to go to the prom with me. Really? Who? Him. Sup, Jake? Bet you didn't see this coming. Here's your 500 bucks, Jake. I guess you won the bet. I didn't think I'd be the one taking her on a date, but damn, she's hot now. I mean, she was already kind of cute. Eh, well, I just want a hot date. After prom, I'm gonna dump her. What? She'll get over it. I'll talk to you later. Hey, can we talk for a second? What's up? I can't let you go to the prom with him. You can't go to prom with him. What? Why not? Don't mess with my prom date, Jake. I'm not gonna let you use her. Me? You're the one that's been using her. What is he talking about? I was just trying to help you look nice because... Because I made him a bet. A bet? Yep, that you couldn't get a date to the prom. Listen, I know that sounds bad, but- I thought you said you were helping me so you could be my friend. I- You were just using me for money. No. I'm sorry, I should Get away from me. And to think I actually liked- Layla. Never talk to me again. Forget them and forget the system. I was beautiful before this makeover and I'm beautiful now. Maybe this option wasn't supposed to make me beautiful. It was supposed to show me that I already am. But I think for prom, maybe I won't wear the glasses. And you know what? I don't need any guy to go with. I'm going on my own. Hey, Layla. What you doing? Walking to my Uber. Uber? I told you I'm taking you to prom. And I told you I'm not going with you to prom anymore. I'm going alone. That's not gonna happen. Let go! Get in my car. I told you I'm taking you to prom. And I told you I'm not going with you to prom anymore. I'm going alone. That's not gonna happen. Let go! Get in my car. No! Hey, Ricky, let her go. Jake! Get out of here, Jake. I'm not going anywhere, Ricky. Get away from me! I said let her go! <gasps> Alright, that's it. Come here. Ricky, I don't wanna- oh, Stop it! Leave him alone! Ricky, come on, let's not- oh, Shut up. Hey, Ricky! Oh, stay down. Oh. Oh. Hey, are you alright? I'm fine, but you're bleeding. Yeah, he got me pretty good. Hang on, uh, I'm gonna call the police, okay? Okay. Hey, how you doing? Uh, you know, I've been better, but the doctor said I'm clear to go home, so that's good. Thank you so much for saving me. You kind of saved me with that kick. <laughs>
Layla, you need to know that bet was stupid. You were already beautiful. Thanks, Jake. I kind of already found that out for myself. Because you're smart. Well, lucky for us, there's one hour of prom left. I'll let you go hang out with the girl you said you were going to ask. Layla, wait. I don't want to go to prom with anyone but you. I thought you just wanted to be friends. No, Layla, I don't. I mean, if it's okay with you, I'd like to be more than that. I would like that. So should we head to prom? <laughs> Happy birthday! We got you something! I think I know what it is. An iPhone 4 colored, colored pencils. pencils! Really? Honey, they're magic pencils! Right. Class, write this down. Purple power unlocked. Hey babe, do you mind if we take a rain check on our date this week? Are you nervous? W what No, of course not. Are you hiding something from me? Crap, I can't do this anymore. I cheated on you, okay? I'm sorry. I feel so bad you and your boyfriend broke up. This tells me people's emotions. You're not sad. I don't know what you're talking about. She was jealous of us. I knew it. Hey, um, where's mom? She's outside with Coco, giving her a lecture about listening. Coco, when mommy says stop, you say okay. But this is daddy! Mom, you might not want to talk to her right now. But you still have to say, okay, mom. I get you, baby! I think today I'm gonna go with red. Red power unlocked. I get to see people's ages. Well, this will be interesting. Hey, good morning, girly. You're 20? What? How did you find out? Never mind that, but why are you still in high school? I failed. I got held back. Hey, it's okay. Your secret is safe with me. Hey, I'm new. Is it cool if I sit here? Yeah, of course. Thanks. So, how old are you? Me? Oh, uh, I just turned 17 about, like, uh, two months ago. Psst, hey, what? Do you believe in vampires? No, why? Because I think I'm sitting next to one. Huh? You're funny. I'm telling you, he's a hundred years old. Can you watch my bag? I gotta use the restroom. Yeah, sure. See, he's- Girl, what are you doing? Looking for evidence. Ew, what is that? I think this is- What the hell, dude? What are you doing with my stuff? What are you doing with my stuff? Well, I think the better question is, what are you doing with this? That's for my lunch. It's strawberry jam. Oh! <laughs> Can I have my stuff back? Yeah, sorry. Yesterday's power was kind of a disaster, so today I think I'm gonna go with green. Green power unlocked. Let's hope this power helps me figure out if that guy is a vampire or not. Hey, so I just wanted to apologize about yesterday. You're good. I actually think you're kind of cute. <laughs> How old did you say you were again? 17. I'm throwing a party tonight. Wanna come? Yeah, sure. I would love that. Sweet. I'll airdrop you my address. Hey, you made it. Yeah, but where is everyone? They're on their way. Hey, Mom, this is the girl I was telling you about. Ooh, she looks beautifully delicious. Stop it. Really? I could just eat you. Oh, no. Try my punch, darling. The flavor is to die for. Get back. I'm leaving. Wait. I have two vampires after me. This calls for some extreme powers. What would happen if I just picked all of them? Are you sure you want to combine all the pencils' power? I have to. Wish mode activated. There you are. Please, don't be scared. I know you know I'm a vampire, and I'm sorry about lying about the party. Your mom was trying to kill me. I was just trying to hang out with you alone. I didn't realize she was going to act like that. She has bloodlust. I wish you were a vampire so you could understand. Wish granted. What just happened? I think you just turned me into a vampire. How is that even possible? Because I have a secret too, okay? I have magic colored pencils and I think you just used the last of their power. You don't have to worry about my mom killing you anymore. Thank you, because that makes me feel so much better. Hey, since I did this to you, I promise I'll protect you. I'll teach you how to be a great vampire. 